Ja, am nächsten Mal würde ich gerne herzlich sein. Sure, my name is Mike Stewart. I'm from uh, Temple University. I'm currently a senior. I'm going to be yeah, to you. I'm going to be graduating with a degree in history. I minor in physics. I do a little bit of everything. I'm an MC and I'm a poet. And I was asked to come out and perform some kind of piece pertaining to the, uh, the legislation that's now, you know, in question and what we're out here to demonstrate against. I'd like to first say that I really do believe on the whole, the nation in general is failing to educate itself. We're failing to educate our youth currently. So to do something like this, where we're going to take a step against an already subpar uh, education infrastructure, it just really, it really makes no sense, and it seems like kind of a no-brainer that we should be providing education and the proper funding for students to get. So uh, uh, my work is not political. I'm simply a cynical, cynical citizen who happens to be the son of proud parents, grateful to have a kid in school. Parents who pay the Fed, pay the state, and municipal. Parents of an educated child who they labor to give it to. Education is already in crisis. Uncompetitive high schools, kids dropping out with no diploma, leads this. Higher education to be de facto elitist. Now to cut government spending for those who need it, who happen not to be rich, and force them to leave it, good. We've made the move from elitist to defeatist with the passing of one edict. Yes, we can. I say to those voting in the Pennsylvania State Congress, lest ye forget to water the garden where your seed is, ask not in 10 years where your tree is. Woo! Lest ye forget to water the garden where your seed is, ask not in 10 years where your tree is. Let's imagine a world where this sort of deceit would succeed in. Well, in a world confused where confusion compounds and those who are reaching up have just been turned down and to di and digress is now progress, I guess this logic is sound. However, in a world that is not forgotten, that it does not excrete where it eats, and it must equip its youth should they be fit to compete. As times change and power shift, we did not ask for this life, we were thrown in the midst. Industry has left. I repeat, industry has left. I repeat, where are we to go? The jobs have left. The sins of the father have been cast upon the youth with a future to be constructed, to be denied the proper tools by the father who deconstructs it. Well, you tell me, is this the Pennsylvania I grew up in? What are we to do? The jobs and the industry have left. I'll tell you what we are to do. We're to be the vanguards of development, the harbingers of employment, Equipped with education, empowered by the state and the zeal of youthful innovation, empowered by each other, empowering each other, showering each other with thought and ideas and thought and knowledge and ideas and thought and power and knowledge and ideas and thought and the means to power and knowledge and ideas and thought. Pause. How are we to be empowered by thought if not to be taught? What is stopping one from being the powerful beings we now are seeing, if not the cost? What is stopping one from being the empowered beings we now are seeing, if not the cost? But what is the cost of thought? Should thought be assigned a cost? When one knows well that thought cannot be bought, you ought to be seeing a trend. To cut spending is to say we're doing too much, but considering the circumstances, are we doing enough? Lest ye forget to water the garden where your seed is, ask not in ten years where your tree is. I didn't come to place the blame. I came to appeal for the opportunity to become part of the change. Lest ye forget to water the garden where your seed is, ask not where your tree is. Let's imagine the sort of world this logic would succeed in. Not in the Pennsylvania I grew up. 